Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing uh, differential equations and we're going to be using the method of integrating factors. Um, so pretty much this method can be used for um, first order linear differential equations. Um, and we're going to kind of walk through on how to justify that it can be used for specifically first order linear differential equations. So when I was learning the integrating factors, um, first I was given um, the method, and you can only use it in the form of y prime plus a of t times y is equal to b of t. And later, after a lot of like you know working through problems, I figured out that the pretty much the method is you're making an equation, this differential equation, looking like the product rule. Um, and this is by using this method called the integrating factors. Now, what you do is you let some uh, you know. Fun unknown function of t, we'll call it mu, mu is typically what it's used for for some reason in differential equation textbooks, um, as the integrating factor. And what you do is you're going to multiply each component by uh, the integrating factor, or the, uh, this mu. Um, but notice here when you do that, that there's the u, mu prime. Um, and the reason that is, is because, well, we're trying to make it look like the product rule. So if we assume that a times u is equal to u prime, or d dt of u, then we can say um, that that is the product rule. So u, it's like the derivative of the first times, like, you know, uh, f times g prime is equal to f, uh, the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, uh, you know, the chain, or the product rule. Um, so that that's the product rule for you. Um, so that is how, by making that assumption, we can use this as the product rule, and from there we can integrate both sides. Um, so that's the really cool part about this method, whoever figured it out. Um, and then you just solve for y after you differentiate it. So um, the antiderivative of that would just give you uh, y instead of y prime. Um, and then you divide by mu to both sides, um, and then you have that plus c there. Um, and remember when you divide by mu both sides, the c constant is also divided by mu. Um, now, I'd suggest walking through that, um, since we didn't do a numerical example, I'll probably do one soon. Um, but, uh, let's look at this, uh, shortcut method. So, from this assumption, why can we do this? Well, we can, uh, rewrite this equation by solving for a. Um, and if you solve for a and you make it look like this, what do you do when you anti-differentiate? Well, you'll get 1 over mu du is equal to um, a dt, and then when you anti-differentiate, you'll get ln of mu, um, and then the antiderivative of that. Now, the reason why we didn't include the plus c as a side note, I failed to mention, um, is because we're looking for the specific integrating factor that can be used for this equation. And in blue on the bottom left there, we have a plus c because this is the general solution for uh, the differential equation. Um, and from this, we proved pretty much that um, any first order equation um, can be used for this integrating factor. Um, and as a side note, in red at the top for that form, any first order differential equation can be written in that form if it's linear. Um, so if there's a constant in front of that y prime, just simply divide by that constant um, on both sides of the equation, um, and you should be able to use this method. Um, and that's pretty cool. So let's do an example now. Um, so we're given this equation, t y prime plus 2y equals 4t squared. Well, this can be written as, remember, you can use only integrating factors when the coefficient in front of the y prime there is 1. So what we do is we just divide t across the entire equation there, um, and we get y prime plus 2 over t y times y equals uh, 4t. So um, now by using the integrating factors method, um, we're going to let mu be some unknown function of t, just as we discussed before, which is the integrating factor. And we're going to multiply the integrating factor to every uh, term, to each term. Um, and remember, because the integrating factor calls for, or uses the method of uh, trying to make your equation look like the product rule, we want that second uh, coefficient there um, to be equal to u prime. So we can be in this form. Um, mu times y prime plus mu prime times y, um, which is the product rule, right? So that's the cool part. So what we have to do, um, if we have that product rule, we can just uh, shorthand notate or make it 
um, look like this because we know that's product rule, product rule and we can integrate easily and that's the whole purpose. So um, just writing the rest of the equation there. So the assumption we made was that du dt or u prime mu prime is equal to 2 over t times mu. Um, and then we just use our separation of variable methods like we normally do and we can um, integrate both sides and solve um, for mu. Um, remember integral of 1 over mu is ln of mu um, and there's no plus c here um, because we need one solution so we can just set c equal to 0. Um, and then we solve for mu and we get it is equal to t squared. So that's mu and that's our integrating factor but remember we also have uh, mu prime in there so the derivative of that would just be 2t. And then what we do is we back substitute into this equation right here and we can get that to be, um, we can write the equation is equivalent to t squared times y, all that prime, um, equals to 4t times t squared. Integrate both sides. Um, now that we can, and it's much easier, and that's the whole point of the method, is to get it in this form so you can integrate easily. Um, you'd get 2, or t squared um, y equals t to the fourth plus c, and we divide both sides by t squared, and we get our general solution. And that, my friends, is the integrating factor method. Now, there's a lot of things in differential equations, a lot of techniques into solving differential equations, um, depending on like their uh, linearity, that what kind of order they are. You can do something called reduction of order as a method um, for solving differential equations. What you do is you fit your differential equation to the method that um, is, can best be solved, um, which most can be, uh, what is simpler, is what I'm trying to say. So this is one method when dealing with first-order first differential linear equations. Um, so there you have it. Uh, this is the integrating factor method.